Hey guys, so it's that time and it's time to go to India for my wedding shopping. So, still at home at the moment, just getting ready to leave for the airport. We're leaving in about 40 minutes. Um, I haven't got any makeup on because I don't wear makeup on planes. So there's something on my lens. Because I get bad spots when I'm on the plane. I've already got one, which is a few days old now. So I don't want to get any more. Um, so yeah, I'm just uh, finishing up my packing. I'm going to close my suitcase now and my hand luggage bag. But before I do that, I want to show you how I've packed everything because a few people requested to see. Um, so yeah, I will show you. So this is my main suitcase and um, I have like things like toilet roll and food as well just because it's India and um, we might need some of this some of these essentials because um, we won't have time to go to the shop straight away when we get there so I've just literally got my clothes all folded some toilet roll um, underwear and stuff and then I've got like Indian suits and English clothes everything um, there's still quite a lot of space in my suitcase I'm only taking a pair of sandals and a pair of flip flops so shoes wise is fine and this is my hand luggage trolley got like a book I'm reading the couple next door I'm halfway through that at the moment and I've got like a little snack box there with mixed nuts in because obviously, obviously I'm still trying to eat fairly healthy it won't be that easy to do it in India but I will try and stay determined and um, my blanket because I always get really cold on the plane and then underneath I've got like my suit that needs tailoring this is the one I got for my engagement um, it needs tailoring got my pajamas so I don't have to open my big suitcase when we get there because we're staying one night in Dilly and I've got some fluffy socks here to wear on the plane uh, and that's it really in here I've got my outfit swatches um, so I can match my jewellery to my wedding outfit um, so yeah they're my suitcases and then over here I have um, my little side crossbody handbag and this is from H&M and it's just got like a suede flap over button section here and that's got my purse inside there and then it's got a zip section here I wanted to get a bag with a zip because I need to keep my bag very close to me at all times because of pickpockets and stuff um, and all my bags I noticed before I bought this bag were just the button bags which are really not good because anyone can get into that quite easily and then this is my makeup bag I'm taking very limited makeup with me so that's in there obviously I need as much weight allowance to bring back um, so I'm trying not to take too much out there with me because we've got a lot of stuff to bring back um, and then finally is my toiletry bag and in this is like literally all of my toiletries makeup wipes, um, face wash, toothbrush, contact lenses, hairbrush um, you know them kind of things I have also shower gel and things like that in there um, and that's really it so I haven't packed too much um, kept it really simple just because I know we have loads to bring back <laughs> um, my mum's taken loads of stuff like mugs to drink tea from and like duvets and stuff but we're leaving all that there because um, we don't have that stuff there at our house at the moment we're staying at my uncle's house my mummy's house um, and we don't have all of that stuff there so um, that's why we're taking it but then obviously because we're leaving that there that will free up all that space that is taken up in our suitcase at the moment but I'm dressed really comfortably just because I can't travel like all smart how some people do so I'm literally just wearing black leggings my Canada hoodie which is always my go to hoodie when I'm travelling and then yeah literally just showered and um, I'm not wearing any makeup but I can't wait to take you guys along with me, um, we're leaving soon so I'm going to lock this all up, put my toiletry and makeup bag in my suitcase and then we, our taxi driver should be here at half three and we're going to make our way to Heathrow Airport. At the airport now guys, we're just eating at Prex, so I'm absolutely starving, I'm having a hummus and crunchy veg wrap um, and I'm having the crisp kale 
crisp type things with it. And just a bottle of water. We still got ages till our gate opens, so we're gonna go shopping after this. Hey guys, so we did our little bit of shopping. I didn't really get much. Hopefully I'll get more on the way back. Um, but we're just about to board, just waiting at our gate. You can see our plane outside, but gate number 12 we're at. They're going to get on the plane and we're stopping, we've got to stop over in Amman and then we go on to Bindi from there. Hey guys, so we finally made it to India, such a long journey. Um, I'll tell you guys all about the flight later on today because we just got to our hotel, we're going to freshen up a little bit and we're going to head out um, before the shops start closing. I want to try and get a SIM card so when we go to the Bind I should hopefully have some internet. Sorry, I've got something on my lens. Um, yeah, so I need to get an Indian SIM. We're going to go to Garol Bag, I think it's called, and do some shopping there. But I want to show you the hotel because it's amazing. It's called the Roseate in New Delhi and it's beautiful. Um, so this is the front door and when you walk in to your right you have the, um, the what do you call it, wardrobe area and it's got like a safe dressing gown and then you have in this drawer um, laundry bag and I thought there were slippers in here but there's not so my parents are in their other room and they had slippers in that but anyway um, then you walk in and then to your right are the sliding doors to the bathroom and then here is a massive mirror hey. yeah and then so there's some of the, the sliding doors apart open but so this is a sliding door it opens like that and then this is also a sliding door and it opens like that and then you have this open plan bathroom so it's got a bathtub and then a massive sink and then you've got little face towels here and what is this little thing here a uh, body moisturizer and cleansing bar and then here's another bathrobe towels and then when you walk in you can see me okay so then you walk into this it's got like clear screens on it you can see me there's a mirror there so as you walk in you have this little like dressing area with a stool there it's got very nice background music as you can hear hair dryer and like just sort of a vanity area where you can get ready and then in this little section you have a dental kit, two dental kits, two shower cups, loofers, um, a comb, sanitary bag, shaving kit, vanity kit. And then over here through this glass door is the toilet area. And then through this glass door on the other side is the shower and there's a massive shower head there. And there's like a smaller shower there and then I'm guessing that's just like shower gels and stuff over there. Yeah, so that's the bathroom, which is really impressive. Mirrors are massive, ceilings are like really high. This hotel is just huge. I'll try and give you a tour around. I don't know if I'll do that today, I might do that tomorrow. But my sister's just sitting over there. Our view's really amazing as well. So this is our huge bed. And then on my left is the TV and this unit here where the mini bar and the tea and coffee and everything is and I really like how it's all set out so you've got the mini bar fridge here if I can open it okay you've got the mini bar fridge here and you've got the kettle in this top drawer is your teas and coffees um, and they give you a nice selection as well so you get like a Assam tea green tea why won't my camera focus? Green tea and English breakfast, and then you've got coffee. Um, you've got the glasses for water. They provide you with bottled water. Obviously, you need that in India. Um, mugs for tea. And then down here, you've got wine glasses. Um, and then, like, spirits, if you want to have any of them from the um, mini bar. And then 
yeah so that's the bathroom over there that's the bed and then we've got these huge like sofa day bed type things over here and the desk area and our view which is beautiful another day bed type thing here with my sister's crap on there <laughs> and then our windows are massive and then this is our view so there's like a garden view they're really nice gardens actually outside and then the really cool part of our room is it's all controlled with an iPad so um, and this bit here as well so you can control the blinds um, you can control the lights and you can even control the front door so if you it's got a camera for the hotel room door and then so for example if you go to blinds and then you go to put the sheer so they've got curtains which blacks it out and they've got the sheer ones which you can still see through if we go to close sheer and then it starts putting the, the sheer one starts coming down which is pretty cool but I'm not going to put that all down yet because it's nice and sunny outside so let's open that back up again and it's opening up so yeah the whole room's controlled by that the TV's controlled by that the lighting's controlled by that and yeah so the front door has a camera so like if you go to sorry if you go to door camera and then that's the camera outside our door and then we'll be able to see who's at the door and then we can open the door so that they can let themselves in which is pretty cool as well but yeah they're <laughs> what? throwing pebbles um, yeah it's so hot here and sorry I look really rough but I feel it feel rough as well um, so yeah, we're gonna freshen up now and go out and get some food as well and do a bit of shopping. Um, I haven't been to India in so long, so it's a big change for me. But um, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you about the flight. So Aman Air is really good, I've flown with them before. The food was really good, like my main course that I had on the flight from London to Muscat was amazing. I had the lamb with tea in tahini sauce I think it was and um, that was really tasty like it's probably the best plain meal that I've ever had um, the only thing that really pissed me off is that I couldn't get any sleep it was an overnight flight but barely sleep because the whole row behind us what? you were sleeping the whole way no I wasn't I was sleeping like for an hour so my sister thinks I was sleeping the whole way which I really wasn't I was trying to sleep the whole way and the stupid little girl behind me kept crying and her parents wouldn't control her and yeah it's just been a long day but it's um I don't even know what time it is here now I think it's like half four so we're gonna try and head out by about five and I'll take you guys along with me Look how cute they are. They're so cute. 
I'll just show you the lobby, it's really nice. It's like high ceilings and my family sitting here. So yeah, we're gonna make the long journey back to Punjab now. It's like seven, eight hour drive, so <laughs> we're gonna leave. Um, so yeah, I'll film when I get there because it's gonna be a long drive and probably gonna go to sleep to be honest. So I will film when we get there. We had breakfast this morning, which was nice. And that's about all we've done. I think it's like 11, 11 a.m. now. So we're just checking out. And our driver's waiting outside for us. Yeah, I'm in a boat ride, so I'm in a boat ride. 